Yeah, so Woods Around the World started kind of as a concept idea back in uh, 2007. Our first trip we ever took was in 2008. And it was kind of inspired by uh, the idea of how important it was that we get students into a different cultural space. And one of the things I like to say is that one of the goals of Woods Around the World is to help students become interested in a story other than their own. This one is an example. On uh, each of our trips, we try to enhance that program with some kind of surprise to our students. And we worked for about six months to surprise our students when we went to Scotland, Ireland, and England. And so we made a trip uh, to Windsor and we did a behind the scenes tour and got to see Queen Elizabeth's uh, horses, carriages, meet her stable hands. Uh, we were also supposed to see uh, Prince Philip and have a photo op, but, but Queen Elizabeth came back in residence about half an hour early and I could see the security guard in the corner saying, we need to hurry this up because she was on her way. We step outside, they raise the flag that she was in residence. So uh, I'm from Hannibal, Missouri originally and Mark Twain, our beloved uh, Missourian who was one of America's great storytellers, uh, he has a quote that I love to share with students where he says, travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness, and broad, wholesome, charitable views of humanity cannot be had by vegetating in one little corner of the universe. So I think when students are able to go into a different cultural space and learn about others, um, they learn just how how wonderful the world is in terms of you know there's um, a lot of insights that come from different people but i think they also learn about themselves and so uh, we, we talk about the experience of leaving the comfortable uh, to you know take a longer stride and to experience uh, some kind of a new territory and it has a way of growing a person as well too and so I, i've seen with our students when they come back they unpack that experience and they then kind of get an itch to travel more, to see more of the, the planet. And one of the fascinating things, Cornell University did a study a few years ago, and they asked people 65 and older, what is one of the biggest regrets in their life? One of the most common regrets uh, that that age population has is they wish they would have traveled earlier and traveled more frequently. And so we're trying to capitalize that uh, from an early age. And, and help students to get to places in the globe that they haven't seen. I also think it helps students, they come back, they read the newspaper, uh, more astute, more observant, because now all of a sudden, what happened here can have effect on, on us here in, in our neck of the woods. So here's kind of a fun sequence of photographs. Uh, this is a picture of our 2008 trip to Peru where we're at Machu Picchu. One of the, the joys of that trip is our students were able to see Machu Picchu less than 100 years after it was announced to the outside world by the scientific discovery of it from Hiram Bingham. This picture is we're participating in the Holy Festival in India and we're part of a community celebration with about 200 people welcoming us uh, not too far from the Taj Mahal and we arrived uh, in India uh, at the time that they were celebrating their annual Rite of Spring, and so we're all wearing the, the colors of, of their festival. This picture was taken uh, last year in uh, Japan, and we had learned in class about the youngest, or the first professional female sushi chef in Japan. And so I read about her in the New York Times. I thought we gotta find her restaurant. So we get there, it only seated about 15 people, and she says, you tell students about me in America? I said, we, yeah. I said, we, we talked about you in class. She says, find me on Instagram. So connect with her on Instagram. A week later, Malala, the youngest person who received the Nobel Prize, was there in the exact same place where we were, a very small place, and she was there for International Women's Day. And so that was a highlight for us uh, to have that, that uh, uh, dinner at her place. And then we were in Dublin on St. Patrick's Day with a large group uh, where we uh, um, we're able to kind of see the city and follow in the footsteps of some of the, the great writers of, of Irish history. I think depending on where we're going, um, you know, I describe it as you know, some trips may be two or three steps out of our comfort zone. It takes a longer stride. Um, and, and we like to prepare travelers, but also um, encourage them just to be open uh, without judgment to learning from a wide range of cultures. And so sometimes we've been in a place where there's a true sensory overload. 
And so I think back some of the trips that we've taken, uh, when you go to Cuba, you're stepping back in time. You get off the air, uh, airplane at Jose Marti Airport and, and you feel like you have just moved you know, decades back in time. Uh, you go to Antarctica and there, it's such a, a pristine kind of white wilderness and you're hearing just the, the quiet of the universe on top of a, a deck of a ship at midnight and realizing there's not another uh, ship within 100 uh, miles of you. That's a different kind of experience. And then, you know, when we go into, um, you know, another culture that has a different set of cultural assumptions, you know, it's, it's a remarkable experience for all of us. Uh, I tell students that, uh, you know, I, I love to a quote that I found years ago, that the power of the mind is in perceiving differences. The power of the heart is in perceiving similarities. So when we do travel, I'm always asking them, what do you see that's similar and what do you see that's different? and we talk about that experience. And, and so sometimes the, the differences are quite obvious, they really jump out at you, but other times they're more subtle, they're below uh, the tip of the iceberg that we see. And then other, th other times we're surprised by how much we have in common. So it's